Hello. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Wow. Nice. Today we have the Taylor Jason. It's me, Taylor Jason. And today oh. we're going to show him a bunch of One Piece characters. He's never Archie. watched One Piece at all and he's going to be guessing like their personality just guessing stuff about the character based off of their character design yeah to the one piece fans i'm sorry if i butcher your faves okay so this is the first character i feel like everyone really knows this character <laughs> that's luffy right yeah yeah maybe i think so you're telling me there's another dude with a red shirt and a straw hat in this show i'm screwed what do you think like his like personality is I think Luffy is goofy. He's like both hardworking but also like comedic relief. Design wise, Luffy is like the reason why I've wanted to watch One Piece for so long because I've always loved Luffy's design. What was it? What's your favorite part of it? Of it? I think the straw hat. Yeah. And I think also just the way like the art style, the way his face is drawn, it's so staple. Like even if you don't watch One Piece, you know, oh, that's Luffy from One Piece. You know, I know this dude, but I forgot his name what do you think his name could be <laughs> is it like zero or something like zero? that zero uh, wait um, <laughs> that's that's <laughs> it's either zero or zoro it's one of those two hmm. I think. Based off of his character design, what do you think like his his power is? They got powers? Maybe. I didn't even know they got I don't powers. Know. Maybe his role in the crew. Oh he's part of a crew? Oh say less. The uh, spoilers on the- He doesn't seem like the type that would like enjoy goofiness. I feel like him and Luffy would conflict. I feel like mm. he's a little serious and Luffy's very like goofy. If he has a weakness, what do you think his weakness would be? The way I was gonna ask that. <laughs> I feel like he could give off the impression of a womanizer. I don't see that. His weakness would be like food. I don't know. Food? <laughs> you could get on his good side with some food, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's very preserved. And that smirk says a lot, you know? I'm Zero Zoro. I clap <laughs> cheek. I got all these swords on me. I'm like, you're talking to me. Consider yourself lucky for the conversation to have made it this far. Wow. This is like a dating simulator. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what do you think about the sword? I'm not gonna lie. The first thing that popped into my head is he takes them from his victims. Oh. But he could also just be a bladesmith. And these are all the stuff mm -hmm. he's made. Mm -hmm. True. I feel like he's a dual wielder. I'm getting that vibe. Dual. If he even handles swords, I don't even know. He could just be holding these for decoration. Next, we got this girly. Oh, interesting. I looked at her and two other anime characters came to mind. And one is from Dragon Ball and then the other one's from Full Metal. I see her as like a very reliant person that just stays behind, but is like equally as essential for the functioning of the main crew. Wow. Kind of like the guy in the chair. Like, Ooh. Ink Impossible. Oh, Wayne. What's or, this? Or, um, Futaba from Persona. I feel like she has an analytical skill. If there are powers here that are, like, non-human, I feel like hers would be, like, analytical and, like, finding clues or hints or like traces mm -hmm. of stuff in documentary. Weaknesses, I feel like, would be her family or just fear of the ocean, honestly. And that's why she stays home. Like maybe something went wrong in a previous adventure and like it dramatized her and like now she stays behind. This is the new show called Two Piece. Two Pieces. Two My pieces. Two Cents. <laughs> One Piece, Two Cents. Okay, here are the names. Clara, Mina, uh, hmm. Nami, or Mina. Annie. I like Mina. Mina from Twice. I like Mina. I think Mina fits. Now we got this dude. Dude, I know this dude. I think I even know his name. Is his <gasps> name Sanji? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah! Yeah! I'm so sorry, Sanji lovers, if I'm so wrong about this, but I feel like he's problematic. <gasps> <laughs> I feel like he just complains a lot about like things that inconvenience him and makes situations unnecessarily like difficult to plan out mm -hmm. i'm not sure he also is dressed like he's i don't know maybe he does go out like that i feel like he's dressed in a way that <laughs> no i'm not hating on his trip i'm just saying that's a real nice shirt if you go and go sailing you know <laughs> i really like his eyebrow twirl i feel like he's also very confident in what he knows frustrated when people who don't know as much try to come up with a solution to a plan that could possibly like just lead to more problems than solutions if you have an idea you gotta get it through sanji first not 
captain mm-hmm. material, but like, oh, like Sanji knows his stuff. Kind of like if the crew was a mafia, like the head, <laughs> he's like the brain, and then Zero Zoro is like the muscle. Do you think he would work a lot with Nami if that was the case? Who's Nami? Mina. <laughs> I got screamed! Nami! No, no, no. I, I do. I feel like him and Nina would work a lot together. I feel like if he's ever on the fence about something, he'll be he'll like ask Mina to think over it. Oh my god, this is tying into my Mina backstory. He would understand her trauma and then he'll go out on the expeditions, but like he'll have everything that she has to say in his mind as priority. He really cares for Mina. And Aww. Mina's just like, your safety, and he's just like, I know what I'm doing. <laughs> I know I'm gonna keep I'm chewing doing. on my, on my, like, little Tootsie Roll pop, popsicle stick looking. <laughs> <laughs> the more that I've talked about him, the more I think I'm gonna like him more. <laughs> yeah, I think, you, like I think you will, I think you will. If you were to give him a nickname, what nickname would you give him? I feel like Sanji fits. Mm. Gigi. If- San. San. <laughs> Gigi. I feel like Luffy is the type that would give him a nickname and he would hate it. Hey Sanj. My name is Sanji. Yeah, anyway, Sanj. <laughs> <laughs> Bloop. Oh. Have you seen this character? I'm so- oh. The silence. <laughs> the silence. I'm reading them down. This person is either giving me two different vibes, either like the brute force you tell them we're under attack, they got the cannons loaded, ready to fire, aimed exactly where they gotta go, and they're running around everywhere. Like, they're kind of, like, scary. How well equipped they are for, like, instantaneous combat. Like, they don't think about it. Mm-hmm. Or, crazy shopkeeper that's gonna haggle you for prices. Crazy shopkeeper? <laughs> I can see that, though. I see it. I feel like you you tell him, like, cannons ready, he'll be running all around the bottom of the deck, like, have them all loaded, ready to fire on Q, and, like, he'll swing through a rope with a sword in his mouth. And he'll go clap cheek. Put the sword in his mouth? His hands will be like on the rope swinging and like he'll just put the sword in his oh, mouth. Oh, I see. They would be the kind to like Luffy's personality the most. This is gonna sound so messed up, but I feel like <gasps> if he were to die, like you would cry at it, but he would be replaceable. Oh, like, no. Like, look at me, I gave Mina a backstory and I gave this guy a, a character death. Can you search up his name on Google? Death episode global. <laughs> okay, I'll give you four names and you're gonna guess which one is his. Okay, okay, okay. Mr. Two, Usopp, Alphonse, or Jerry? Mr. Two. Or Alphonse, but pushing Mr. Two. Oh wait, I'm curious about the weakness for this one. His teeth, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I feel like he's a very, like, the crew is all he got. His weakness is he has nothing else. He's Yoshi. the type that will go down with the ship. Oh, <laughs> goodbye, Mr. Two. Bye, Mr. Two. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my God. Okay, go for it. What creature is this? <laughs> <laughs> he looks like a like a deer. Uh-huh. I don't know why he's wearing pants <laughs> and a hat. It's anime. It makes sense. No, it all. I think is what I'm looking for. Small, reckless animal companion that wants to prove himself, hoping that he gets lucky one day and and succeeds at like something big so he can be acknowledged as more because maybe him being a deer kind of weighs him down kind of treats everyone else like i'm above you except like zero zoro and sanji i feel like he wouldn't be able to pull something on them again i'm giving this guy a whole backstory it's like no i want to save myself but then everyone's just like you're you're just nah nah let me at him let me at him you're just a deer you're just a deer (laughs) sanji i feel like knows that there's like so much more to him and like doesn't feel like he needs to prove himself but he doesn't say it out loud because he feels like he needs to figure it out on his own okay i'll give you four names we have rudy chopper (laughs) hopper and dasher (laughs) is he a reindeer (laughs) i'm gonna give him hopper we got hopper hopper mr t mina this is going great this is the best show ever i think are we talking about the fish or the clown the The clown (laughs) the one that you'll be at the end of this video one this is the captain of the ship and two the reject of the (laughs) ship if he's the captain it's because of lineage bloodline and like importance but he doesn't have the brains to prove it which is why we got sanji or he's the reject he wants to be a part of the crew so bad Mm -hmm. but he just embarrasses himself in the process 
multiple times. And he's probably Luffy's sidekick. Well, not best friends. I feel like Luffy doesn't like him. <laughs> <laughs> but like, he really likes Luffy. And that's why he has a clown nose. Me? He looks real goofy. And he looks short. Is this Unga's height? What? Is this Zero Zoro's little brother? Maybe. They have similar hair type <laughs> on the sides. On the side, <laughs> I mean, I see, they're a different I see color. It. Oh, the, si the sideburn. And they have a scar on their eye. But like this guy is like excessively printed in skulls and I'm wondering if that's like him trying to prove himself as a part of the crew and everyone's just like Lamau. Okay, I'll give you four names. You're gonna guess. We got Buggy, Pudgy, Alfred, and Diddy. Yeah, I think Buggy. I don't know, it's just nothing else fit. <laughs> like, even if I wouldn't have known hearing those names, I think I still would have picked Buggy. Whoa. It sounds like a, like a boat name too. Buggy. Is this Zero Zoro's dad? This is your father. His hair looks like a washed off green, so I'm like, oh. maybe he's just old. But this could either be second in command or traitor. Or he was a part of the crew and like swapped out for something like sensible. He also looks like Zoro's dad. This is so bad. He reminds me of that one Pokemon. White Pokemon with buttons. Let me let me draw it real quick. Okay, this Pokemon. Bro, I've never seen this in my life. <laughs> it kind of reminds Sad. me of the vacuum from Vacuum Teletubby. <laughs> but also kind of oh looks like a, a hollow from Bleach. <laughs> They're twins. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I can kind of see it. And that's about it. <laughs> and then the eyes are like his abs. Yes, okay, hang on. Oh my <laughs> god, wait! <laughs> but yeah, that over. one. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, I'll give you four names. It's either Kay. Smoker, Spike, Mike, or Race. Smoker. Why? Because he has like three cigars in his mouth. Was that <laughs> Goodbye, smoker slash Pokemon. Bye, smoker and Pokemon. <laughs> is this Sanji's little brother? <laughs> <laughs> this character is either a nerd that they use to help get them information. And like, he just geeks out every time because he's like, Oh my gosh, I get to help like the crew. Or this is someone's weakness. They don't look like they go out sailing. They look like they're the type to stay behind. But like, I feel like if they would be the one that Luffy would run to for like intel. And maybe this person's like only valued for their knowledge. So like, he's happy to help because it's all he knows. And he looks like a good boy with his outfit. He could be someone else's weakness. Do you think he might die in the show? I feel like he could. <gasps> and I think I would be really sad about it. Like, I would genuinely be really sad about it. Mm -hmm. I might even cry over his death. That's what she's up his name. Death. His death might be like a big turning point in their character arc. For the better or for worse. It could be what tips someone off or it could be like what set someone straight. But I feel like if he does get killed and it's not from natural causes, whoever did it made a bad choice. I'm gonna kick your ass. I'm gonna find <laughs> you to the ends of the ocean. I feel like you're quoting someone from the show. Oh I'm no. Not gonna lie. I'm writing the script for a two piece. Names. Okay, you got okay. Kobe, Sam. Felix and Edgar. Kobe. He looks more like a Kobe than a Felix. Yeah, but that just might be Kobe. Um. Oh. Uh, what the? <laughs> Top ten anime crushes now. What the heck? If you put him upside down, he's a cowboy hat. Dang. Like Arby's logo. <laughs> oh Arby's. My <laughs> oh my god. I don't like this blimp head looking dude. I feel like he could be the one that hired Kobe to get taken out. <gasps> Not whatever his name is. I hate that his hair color kind of looks like Sanchi's because I don't want to correlate them to <laughs> each other, so I'm not going to. What if that's his dad? This smile, this is a sinister smile. And the eyebrows are giving really like, what are you gonna do about it? Mm. But he also feels like he could hire hitmen. You know, he's a snitch. And they do like a lot of illegal stuff in the crew and he like rats them out and makes things like impossibly difficult for no reason. Cause he's not gonna benefit that much in the end. If he had a voice, what would his voice be like? Oh. From Bungo Stray Dogs. This one. Mm. Yeah, something like that. So this could be like a headcanon voice that's like not actually how he sounds. But something like off as Hisoka's. Not when he's serious. When he's like, no, that's what I did. I did not want to remember. Go. <laughs> It's like, you know how clowns are like kind of like twisted? Yeah. yeah. Just a little off. Add in some dumb in there. Dumb it down. This dude is part of that rich guy's cult or whatever. 
The one that sounds like gone. He's one of the hitmen. Could be hostage as we speak. He's all for it, but he wouldn't risk his own life over something. If his life came to danger, he'd be like, nah, I'm out and he'd run. He also reminds me of someone. You want to go back to the old images? Hi, Luffy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, rest in peace. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think he reminds me a little bit of the shopkeeper who has nothing else, and that's his weakness. Him? Yeah. I How think it's the think eyebrows. Really... They don't look like they're family, but they their designs are similar. I think that's what was reminding me of it. The eyebrows. Eyebrows. They don't look like they're related related. I feel like he's like an ant where it doesn't bother you, but like it's annoying to see all the time. Yeah, he's just, he's mid. He's kind of there. He's mid. <laughs> the mid dude. He's the type where the moment things don't go his way, his solution is just take out the gun. People will listen to you. But no. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got four names. Mr. Five, Yasop, Richard, or Shins. Shins. Shins or Richard, but I think Shins. Shins is his <clears> name. <throat> Mid Shins. Yeah. Mid Shins. This guy is related to Luffy. And he got big teeth. Is this Luffy's older brother? Does he have a brother? Isn't he hot though? <laughs> I, I, I don't, I'm looking at his teeth. He has Luffy's hat. Or like one like it. But his scar on his side makes him look like he's been through some stuff. Either that or he's clumsy. Tripped. Dropped the fork. And then landed on the fork. Okay. I feel like he's a veteran. Mm -hmm. In a sense of he's earned his respect. Mm -hmm. And he knows his way around. Either the ship or the sea. He's also really down to earth. Mm -hmm. To the people that he feels comfortable with. He'll laugh a lot with his crew or his friends but he's also a really big backbone do you think he's a part of luffy's crew i don't know he could also be retired mm -hmm. like, i gave up on that stuff a long time ago uh, back in my day not back in my day old but like i sipped too deep into the punch and I'm, i got my fill i'm good i don't need more what makes you think he's related to luffy? he just looks like luffy and he's holding a hat just like luffy's <laughs> okay here's four names we got okay. Uta, Shanks, Mendy, and Red. Hmm, I wonder which I'm gonna pick. Nah, JK, I think Red. It's Red. Red or Mendy? Mendy Red. <laughs> Mendy Red. <laughs> Mendy's nuts. <laughs> oh! Oh, oh, oh. Anga would like that. She thinks he's hot. Oh, I mean, whoa. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is the guy that Joy sent me a wallpaper of the other day. I don't even know who he is, but I love the wallpaper. This has to be Luffy's older brother. How about the like, other forget, guy? Forget Mendy Red. <laughs> Mendy Red is a cousin or something. This has to be Luffy's older <laughs> brother. They even have the same hair color and the same like eyes. The same he just, eyes. He's literally Luffy aged the same up. Same eyes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I met like the pupil, my bad. Go to Mendy Red real quick. Oh, okay, go back first. <laughs> Luffy's so cute I and know. small, I can't deal. But their hair low key reminds me of each other. I feel like he's on equal par as Zero Zoro. I feel like he's more likely to die in the story. I feel like since he's related to Luffy, I want to think that they have an equal goal in mind. If Luffy's really gonna rise in the future, something has to drive him really hard. Losing his brother would be that drive. Plus, I feel like all the other characters have a role that they're good at. Whereas mm -hmm. this guy, I'm getting the vibe that not that he doesn't have his own role, but his role is a lot similar to Zoro Zero's role. If he were to be gone, we still have Zoro Zero, where if any of the other ones were to be gone, mm -hmm. that's like a whole spot missing. But I feel like he's extremely well reputable, but Luffy sees the world in his bigger brother. Aww. Or is an admirer of him. Like either a competitive way or like a way of actual brother admiration. Because you yeah. think that he he might die. Do you think his death might be one of the top 10? Oh, I think so. I think it'll be extremely memorable and more painful. Than Kobe. Yeah, more, more than, than Kobe. Kobe for sure. <laughs> he might be a contender for my favorite character in the show. Okay, I got four names. Rainer, Ace, Slow, Haste. Rainer made me laugh so hard because I just thought about Attack on the Titan. <laughs> Either Clove or Ace. I don't think it's Pace. <laughs> you don't look like a Pace to me. <laughs> Clove Ace. So, based off of all the character designs, your favorite characters would probably be Sanji and Sanji. Ace. So we got, we got Silly Boy, Loki Womanizer Spicy Dude, Wayne from Kim Possible, really smart dude that is like, where's the pants in the crew we got the shopkeeper <laughs> we got what is that what is that the captain, captain of the crew zoro's dad <laughs> he's dead <laughs> <laughs> Arby's Arby's henchman. henchman Yeah, yeah. Luffy's Big mouth With a big <laughs> mouth <laughs> Oh yeah Mendy Red Clubbies. Luffy's brother 
Lovely. contender for my favorite character. Yay! That was great. Yay. But I can't wait for Let you to follow. watch the show and to look back at this and be like, wait, I was kind of close. Or like, yo, I was kind of far. Or I hate <laughs> this character. Or wait, I actually really love this character. And thank Yay. you so much for Jay for being in this video. It was really fun to watch. But yeah, make sure to check out TayJ on Twitch and on YouTube. He streams a lot of games and it's super fun and he's super chill. So make sure to check him out. He's linked in the description below. And oh yeah. Also, <gasps> thanks for Malaya for being in this video. Oh my god. Lamel, we forgot. <laughs> check about out Sunrise I know. Oops. <laughs> check out Malaya on YouTube. She streams as well. But yeah, I think that's all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. But yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Bye. Bye.